What's going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with another episode of the Darren McDonald Be a Pro series for NHL 22. If you haven't already, scroll down and hit that like button. And in this one, we are taking on the 16th place San Jose Sharks, man. We are 55 games into the season D to the Mac with a solid 37 goals, 29 assists, and 66 points. So without further ado, I will see you guys on the ice at the halfway point of this one. So here we go. The Seattle Kraken are at, what is it, the SAP Center, the SAP Center. I actually never learned what it's supposed to be called. I think it's SAP Center. But anyway, 8 minutes and 10 seconds to go in the second period here in the first game of this video. We're on the bench simulating on ahead to our first shift in this one. Shorthanded against the San Jose Sharks. But we're down 2-1. to one. Oh, 3-1. to one. <laughs> Oh, Evander Kane puts one in on the power play. To go up by two. Capitan's having words with us. What's up, baby? <laughs> oh, my God. We're still doing this. Oh, my goodness. At the time I'm recording this, it's like there's a, <laughs> there's a, there's a patch coming out this morning, and I'm hoping it fixes this. I'm going to download it basically right after I'm done doing this episode. So, yeah, we're done. We're quitting. We, got, we were getting dummied by San Jose anyway, but my goodness, man. So, there's game one. Of this video I don't even think I need to really cut any I don't think I need to cut anything out of this but uh, here we go we got a goal in that game we're up to 38 goals on the season 67 points but there is a wasted game Wow all right so we got a conversation with El Capitan here coach Doug Almond you've been on fire lately and I want to see you keep it going if getting my game getting my name on the score sheet's gonna help the, the team signed me up. Last time I checked, you need to score more than the other team to win. We could persuade. We could promise. They want us to score one goal or one point in the next game. Okay, so we're going up against the Montreal Canadiens, and he just wants us to get one point. I think we can probably pull that off, considering we are above a point per game throughout the season. So, good chat, Capitan. All right, so here we go. Let's try this one again, man. So we got an objective. It's score one point against the Montreal Canadiens. We got a goal in the simulation, which means that objective is already complete. But at the halfway point of this one, we're losing 5-2. to two. Stasny, get off this puck. Here we go. Alexander Romanov, he's going to circle back. He's pretty much carrying that one out. And Christian Dvorak comes into the Ozone. Nice shot. Nice stop by Capo Kakin. And Grubauer is still out oh my goodness i couldn't turn around i still kind of got it there we go back into our own zone <laughs> oh my goodness man and vinnie dunn no it's matt dumbo okay i got those numbers a little mixed up there let's get that one up to uh, jared mccann can we get in the zone we still got it we still got it uh throw that one back to the point matty dumba i'm just gonna try and nope i was gonna try and get in front of the net and then he passed it back to me and it auto skated me back to matty dumba here we go johnny hockey gets roughed up and that is so gonna be a penalty so we're going to the power play Right off the flip and bat, Buddy was still 20 feet away from the puck, and whoever the heck that was just freaking knocked him. It was Christian Dvorak smashed into Johnny Hockey trying to stop him from getting the puck. I both love that and hate that at the same time. Oh, Christian Dvorak just fights off a check coming into the zone, and who was the one throwing the check? I think it was Jakob Larson. Oh, my goodness. And it was in front of the Seattle net, but we were able to clear it out. And here comes Johnny Hockey back to Jared McCann. Big shot. Nice stop by Carey Price. Jared McCann again. Ooh, gets it over to the Mac attack. Mac attack, he's trying to find somewhere to go, back to the point, Justin Braun, Justin Braun walks right in, big shot, ooh, nice stop, and that one goes to Jared McCann, and I'm stuck, I'm stuck on the defender, here we go, back to the point, Jakob Larson, Braun, in front, whoop, whoop. oh, what a shot, what a save by Carey Price, Christian Dvorak, no, can we pull it out, yeah, mm, kind of, <laughs> and Josh Anderson has taken that one down the ice, and he clears that one deep, so it's going to take some getting used to. Nice little shot on Carey Price. Nice stop, and we are on the power play, baby. Johnny Hockey tied up in the corner. He gets it loose. Jordan Eberle. Oh, what a feed. Oh, it goes through the blue paint. Jesus. And they're able to keep it out. Ebbs with a big shot off the post. Back around behind the net. We're stopping up. Stopping up. Oh, I meant to pass that one back to Johnny Hockey. What are we doing? What are we doing? Whoop, get it across. Oh, my God. What a pass. What a goal. <laughs> Philip Dano with his 21st of the season. For the El Tace Nakark, and we are back within two in this one, baby. <laughs> oh, man, that's what I'm talking about. No, 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 stay away from that Montreal bench. It looked like he was going to go for fist bumps at the Montreal bench, too. He still has their jersey on in this, man. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. Beauty. So we got a point. 
and then we got we got a goal in the simulation we got an assist in the game now we're only down by two but that is going to kill the second period so here's hoping we can come back out in the third and take away even more of montreal's lead so put 20 minutes back on the clock as always as we attempt to take away montreal's two goal lead here in the third period just stay strong keep playing smart this may end up being a somewhat shorter video than usual because we did basically lose game one, but I want to stick to the whole three game thing. I believe at the end of this week we should be done the regular season. If I do it right, Matty Dumba somehow able to hold on to that one, but then Jared McCann throws it away. We still got Johnny Hockey. What a beauty. Jared McCann, nice little quick shot on Carey Price, but he's able to make the save and he's going to stop play with that one. 46 seconds into the third period so what are we saying capitan what you got for me baby this is a close game and we need to get the next goal are you up for it gotcha i'll try to spark our team's offense so the challenge we got from el capitan is to generate some momentum that's exactly what we plan on doing baby i got you covered oh what a nice shot and carrie price didn't get all of that one jeff petrie poke it away there we go we got her back out in front back to the point Gio, he's going to easily get knocked off that one. Oh, man. Oh, there you go. Stepping up on his man, D-Mac. Gets it back to Matty Dumba. Up to Johnny Hockey with a great backhand, no-look feed. Come on. Get out of the way. <laughs> oh, oh, I went for the deflection. It was no good. We were on the ice for more than a minute, so it's time to get off. And jumping Joe Pavelski, man. <laughs> he's going to take that one down to Nick Suzuki. So simulating on ahead to our next shift. Ooh, four on four. So Matty Dumba takes a hooking penalty and very shortly after on the power play, Montreal's Brendan Gallagher takes a penalty. So it's four on four for 45 seconds, five minutes into the third, baby. Jeff Petrie over to Keith Yandel. Nick Suzuki with a nice little shot, but there wasn't really much of an angle. Let's get that one back around the net. Super excited that they're finally adding shot versus pass bias today as well. But the only problem with that is my personal franchise mode. I play all the games and I'm in year four. So it's like I have to delete all of that and start from scratch. So that's a lot of progress to lose. You know what I mean? It's like we are Stanley Cup champions. I got a whole bunch of created players in there that I've grown into NHLers. And you know what I mean? Straight out of the draft. So it's kind of brutal that like you have to start again from nothing ah damn it i got stuck in the net here we go jeff petrie alexander romanov bringing that one out of the montreal zone down towards the seattle zone and no thanks there you go take her geo and now he's gonna play himself into a damn corner <laughs> all right here we go who are you nice play nice play here we go d to the flip and mac gets that one up to maddie dumba Ooh, up to johnny hockey oh my god get out of the way johnny hockey big shot that one's loose in front jared mccann almost gets it back he gets it this time <laughs> oh man and mccann still has it that's a big shot from maddie dumba but it can't get through all the bodies man ah uh, all right here we go oh he roofed it he roofed it out of play so i'm pretty sure we're still on the ice anyway but we are starting to get pretty deep into this one, man. We are closing in, I believe, uh, by the way I have it set up for the three games that I chose to play in this video. By the end of it, we are one day before the trade deadline. So it will be interesting to see, starting in tomorrow's video, who we picked up at the deadline. And what we can do with that Petrie, lose that thing. There we go. Nice play. Jared McCann back in behind the net over. And Vinny Dunn is getting tied up pretty darn bad here. Matty Dumba. Dumba. Oh, nice feed. Nice feed. Here we go. D-Mac. 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 Big shot. Oh, and the rebound. But Johnny Hockey couldn't put it in the net. Backhander. Back to Jared McCann. He's not shooting. He's not shooting. I almost got the rebound on that one. We've been on the ice for a month and a half. I'm over on the other side of the net. Okay, knock it out there, man. Ah, oh, damn it. He got it out in front of the net to Brendan Gallagher. Into the Seattle zone. Ooh, and gets a nice pass across to jump and Joe Pavelski. And D-Mac's got it whipping that one around the net. Up to Jared McCann, baby. Up to Justin Braun. We got defenders rushing in, and we got a pulled goaltender. That is never a good sign. Oh, my God. It made it through, and Jared McCann puts in his ninth. We're back within one, and we got like a minute left to play in this game. Crazier things have happened. Do you believe in miracles? Let's do it. Ah, so DMAC almost got in the way of that one. This is the only time that I was pretty happy when EA's stupid, like, I'll make a pass over to Johnny Hockey, and for absolutely no reason whatsoever, 
he'll lift his stick and let it go past like there's someone on the other side of him, even when there isn't anyone on the other side of him. But this time, it worked out pretty damn well, and Jared McCann puts home his ninth. We're back within one with 54 seconds to go, baby. There's Suzuki to Pavelski. Knock it off him. Oh, no, I lost all my speed. Knock it off him again. Knock it off him again. <laughs> go, 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 Jared McCann. You're going, baby. Ugh, shoots that one, but buddy, the defenseman was just on him. Jared McCann again. That's a bad angle shot. I don't know where the hell it is. All right, Carey Price was able to get a hold of that one. He's going to cover it up. We're still on the ice. We're, we're still, uh, yeah, we're still on the ice. Still have an empty net. 28 seconds to go. Come on, Jared McCann. Win me a face-off. Nice push. Nice push. Oh, no. Johnny Hockey loses that one right in front of the Montreal net. And look at this. They're backing off. They're backing off, and they're letting him in. Jeez, I'm crow. All right, it's cool, man. We got Jakob Larson. He's tripping out. He doesn't know what's happening. The, he hasn't come down yet. Let's go. Nice big saucer feed to Braun up to the Mac attack. Mac attack getting kind of hemmed into his own zone, and, like, nobody went for it at first. So here comes Horingfist. He gets tied up along the boards. Oh, Jakob Larson gets that one up to Johnny Hockey. Let's go. Terrible. El Terrible. But that is game. Right at the buzzer. Goudreau tries for a shot. It's no good. And I'll see you guys at the halfway point of the third and final game of this one. All right, Capitan, you had that objective for me to get one point. I got two. I asked and you delivered. You can keep this going. I aim to please. Every point I record only helps the team. That's right. Scoring a goal or setting one up helps the team. Keep it up. See you later, coach. Thanks, buddy. Look at that unruly haircut for the Mac attack, baby. <laughs> I love it. So, one day before the trade deadline, D to the Mac, Johnny Hockey, Matty Dumba and the Seattle Kraken tied up at one at the halfway point here at Climate Pledge Arena in Seattle, Washington. Take on d Mac's favorite childhood team, the Chicago Blackhawks. Seth Jones, Patty Kane, Alex Dabrinkit, Kirby Doc, my goodness. When you just say them all out loud, it sounds like they got a hell of a team. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Taking the face off. That is going to be won by Kirby Doc, man, and Patty Kane. Here comes Patty Kane into the zone. Oh, he just walks right in, and that one's loose in front. Dumbo, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, God. Alex Dabrinkit puts it home to make it 2-1 to one for the Chicago Blackhawks. Look at that freaking picture of him. Did they take that, like, four seconds after he woke up in the morning or something? And look at this guy go to work. Patty Kane, 35 assists. Oh, baby. I don't mind that one flipping bit. All right, now we're talking, oh God, we're talking to Cappy 10 already. We don't want this to glitch out on us again here in the final game. We haven't had any sustained pressure, and I need you to change that. I can do that, coach. I'll swing the momentum in our favor. So up the pressure. That's what he wants. Hey, man, it's only a one-goal game. Let's just, let's just stay calm. Let's play our game, and let's see if we can get back into this, baby. So for the next minute and two seconds, Chicago is on the damn power play. What are we simming down to? Oh, we got a simulation goal. Oh, no. Patty Kane on the power play puts it home. My goodness. 3-1 to one, Chicago. This is not how you want this to go, man. <laughs> like, it's not fantastic. Okay. Jared McCann win this draw. He's not going to do that. But Seth Jones. Seth Jones is going to lose it to Johnny Hockey. Oh, baby. Jared McCann takes it away. Do we got it? Up the middle. Oh, baby. What a pass. Pull him off the post. What a goal. 43 goals on the season. For D to the flippin' Mac, and look at that. Just like that. Freaking Seattle's back in this game, man. Whoa, what is going on with Alex Stalock, man? <laughs> look at this. Backhand, forehand. Oh, man. And he was out. He was being really aggressive, too. But I haven't actually looked at the stats too deep in a little while. And I think we only we've only had Parisi for a little while now. So here comes Jared McCann. Nice drop feed. Drop feed by Jared McCann. Whip it around the net. Oh, Johnny Hockey gets himself loose. d max got it. We're backing up. Oh, my goodness. No, 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 no. We're going to hold on to this thing now. Back to the point. Oh, Braun gets that one to McCann. Back to Larson. Everyone's backing up. Everyone's on their backhand. Whoa, nice shot. There was a bit of a screen in front of the net by the Mac attack. But it didn't matter because that shot was high and wide anyway. To break it. Just got moited. All right, here comes Jared McCann, baby. Into the Chicago zone. Where are we going with it, baby? Easy, weird little backhander. Oh, no. What an imbecile. Oh, man. I'm done. Oh, I'm so done. <laughs> oh, lately it's been rough, man. It's been real rough lately when it comes to discipline. It's like we're playing frustrated, you know? And, and it doesn't help that Seattle's on a losing streak. It just makes you play so much more frustrated. And that's just no way to go about it, man.
Oh, he's doing ninja deeks, but we're gonna poke that one off him and Borgstrom walks right in. Oh my god, come on, Kakinen. What are you doing? <laughs> Henrik Borgstrom. Jesus puts in his ninth of the season. Oh my goodness. This is not going terrific, you know? <laughs> Lately, it's just it's just not great. Look at these grades. The defensive grade is gone. The teammate the, 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 the team play grade is gone. My goodness. So, that's going to kill the second. Let's see if we can pull a rabbit out of a hat here in the third. So, put 20 minutes back on the clock as always as we attempt to just cut the lead. As it seems like there's a couple games in a row now. We've been saying that one. Let's just cut this lead down. Let's get ourselves back into this one. Morgan Riley gets it to Patty Kane up to Kirby Doc, the Dockinator. Oh, what, oh, Dumbo, what a defensive play. That was unbelievable. There we go. Take her away, McCann. Don't just pass it back to me, though. Whatever you do. Woo, nice little shot. And that one goes off the leg of Alex Staylock. And here comes Mo Riles, baby. Oh, yeah, knock him off that one. Up to Doc, up to Debrinkit, back to Patty Kane. Oh, my God, if anyone would stay out of the damn way, it's like you're not going to play defense. At least let me cover for you or something. But then it's like you dive in front of me and like, and like you're trying to hit me. What's going on here? And Dabrinkit steals that one away again. And I think we are going back to the box for interference yet again. <laughs> huh. This is one to forget, I tell you. This is a game to forget, man. Holy. All right, what are we saying, man? This is a close game, and we need the, we need to get the next goal. Are you up for it? Gotcha. I'll try and spark our team's <laughs> offense. Oh, I think I took like four penalties in this. And it's just being frustrated. That's all it is. It's just stupid decisions being frustrated. It's all my bad. It's on me, not anyone else. Let's go, Kirby Doc. Uh, I'm not doing anything good and helpful on the ice. So maybe I can fire the boys up from the penalty box. And may who knows, man? Maybe just maybe we can get back into this one. So me and the big old Dockinator there, we're gonna take we're gonna take some shots at each other. Whoop, nah, you ain't gonna hit me, man. Well, oh, he got me. Look at this mullet. That's not what I got for my hairstyle. Boom. Debuck at you, buddy. Nah, 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 nah. We're going to tie you up. Quip boom. Quip boom. Lay down, Kirby. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this. Taking out the treasel because it's garbage diesel, baby. What are we down to? Oh, five to three. So Chicago scores and Seattle scores, and we very well could have like one shift left in this freaking game and like one shift left in this video my goodness so here we go oh Jakob Larson is whoa why did Bronny Wani let that one come all the way to me we're just gonna dump that one deep Jake McCabe is gonna pick it up up to Dylan Strom and here comes Connolly as well Connolly in the zone where you going baby Nah, Jake McCabe back to Olimata. Ooh, that was a weird shot. It almost, it didn't make it quite all the way through, but it almost did. You know what I mean? So here we go. D to the Mac. D to the Mac. Ah, I tried to take a shot through Buddy's legs, but he turned at the last second and it hit him in the legs. And here's Dominic Kubalik to Olimata. Up to Brett Connolly. Yeah, lose that thing, buddy. All right, here we go. D to the Mac. Gets that one to Braun. Brawny McWani. Gets it up to Jared McCann. It's a long one. Back to D. Mac gets around everyone. And Alex Stalock with a great save. My flippin' gunnus. But uh, to start the next video, like I said earlier, we are going to take a look at the beginning of the next one, at who we got at the trade deadline. We'll see if we made any moves at all. This is supposed to be a really good team. We just can't seem to win games. Oh yeah, stole it away from Mo, Mo Riles, baby. Stole it away from Alex Debrinkit. Kick it back to the point. Matty Dumba. Matty, oh, I thought he was about to lose that. Right in front of Jared McCann. Oh, and he tries for a stupid, pointless backhander, and that's no freaking good. My goodness, man. Here comes Alex the Cat. He can't get the shot off. We're simulating down. Pretty sure that's probably going to kill it. Yes, it is. Disappointing loss against the Chicago Blackhawks, but it's been a disappointing freaking little while. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, that is going to do it for me for this one. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. There's new videos coming all the freaking time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers, have a good one.